Something that I found problematic. You ready for this? You ready? Like, I know you're not. Like, you, you think you're ready? Let me just tell you. You think you're ready, but you're not ready for what I'm about to put on screen. You ready? You think you're ready? Oh, you think you're ready. And so I'll take your word for it. Let's watch. So poll, 18% of Republicans support capital riots. riots. Do you remember yesterday, actually, me talking about this? The number that's always consistent uh, is going to be about 20% of people. And this is not just Republicans, right? Um, so this is 18% of Republicans, and I want to be very clear why it's only 18% of Republicans, which is only in reality like 8 or 9%. Um, 20-ish percent of North Americans are authoritarians, and they will support authoritarians. 75 million people voted for Donald Trump. 75 million is about 25% of the population of the United States. Okay? Now you might be wondering, how come only about 10% of the population endorse the riots if 20 to 25% of them are authoritarians? My response to that is you have to understand a lot of people right now, especially now that the, I guess, the technical war has begun. Like if you want, you can say that this is, we are now in a civil war, right? This is what this is. No ifs, no ands, no buts. This is a civil war. Right, so if you are a militia member who has a spe like an ex milit like a lot of these people are ex military, and I'm gonna get into that. A lot of these people are ex military. So if you're ex military, or if you are connected to these militias, you know basic operational security. And basic operational security is not telling pollsters that you endorse terror attacks. So that's why I think the poll response is so low. I've seen other polls that suggest that around 40 to 50% of Republicans support the riots. But again, these questions are worded differently. So like, you know, so we'll see. But again, I'm just giving you this information. Um, so let's read. Approximately 18% of Republicans support the pro-Trump rioters who stormed the Capitol on Wednesday in opposition to Congress's certification of President-elect Joe Biden's win, according to a PBS NewsHour slash Marist poll released Friday. The survey, which polled more than 800 adults the day after the, the riots, also found that despite some support among GOP members, most Americans, approximately 88%, interesting number, by the way, either opposed or strongly opposed the mob's actions. Additionally, those surveyed were divided in their opinion on the level of President Trump's responsibility in the riots, with 63% of those surveyed saying Trump deserves a great deal or good amount of the blame. For Wednesday's events among Republicans, 69% believe Trump is at little or no fault. And that's another very important. Again, that's a number you need to look at. What's 70% of 25%? You know, my math's not the greatest, but that's like, what, 20%? And that brings us back to this number, the magical number, right? 80% of Americans support Medicare for all. Hmm. Who are the other 20%, right? There's always these numbers. It's always like the ceiling in my, in my estimation, the ceiling for any, like, good thing, the ceiling is going to be around 85%, I think, support. Look at $2,000 monthly stimulus checks were recently pulled. 80, uh, I think it was like 85 or so, I, it was around 85, I think. Uh, maybe it was like 88 or something percent supported, of Americans supported $2,000 monthly stimulus. Um... So again, I want you to keep these numbers. These are important things. When you read polls, you need to know these kinds of things. Um, this is a very important way of how you parse this data, in my opinion. Um, Trump encouraged his supporters at the rally earlier in the day to march to the Capitol and challenge Congress's vote, repeating his disputed claims that the election was stolen from him. Among those included in Friday's poll, 48% joined calls from some lawmakers, uh for the president to be removed from office, while 49% oppose such a move. The idea that half of people don't want to remove a sitting president for inciting a riot at the Capitol, I think is disgusting. Among independents, about 51% believe Trump should remain in office with less than two weeks to go until Biden's inauguration. Those people, scumbags. They're all scumbags. Now, um, again, 
this poll only polled 800 people. So take everything with a grain of salt. Um, but again, the ceiling, or rather, I guess the, the numbers to look forward to are like 20 to 25%. Anything more than that, you can whittle away at. Like, for example, so if 51%, well, this is just independence, but let's say like, you know, 40 something percent of people don't think Trump should be removed. You can whittle away about half of those people, in my estimation. So I'm just throwing that out there. That's not to say you should try, you know, have someone else do it, right? Like, Jesus Christ, that's a waste of my time. But um, I'm just saying, that's my estimation. Despite this division, a substantial majority, 90%, believe the perpetrators of the riot, which saw participants breaking through windows at the Capitol and ransacking offices, should be prosecuted for their actions. There you go. Anyway, you can read the rest of this poll if you'd like. Um, and I will post the link in the description when I upload the video version of this. But again, this is very, very bad. The Republican Party is a terrorist organization. And the longer we wait to declare it as one the worst that it's going to get. This is a civil war. If you don't understand that by now, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, look at these right-wing YouTubers, Tim Pool, going out there every single day. Civil war, civil war, civil war, civil war. Amping up right-wingers to think that black people are running through the streets and killing white people ad nauseum. Right. You always see these people, like, say, Black Lives Matter has murdered 50 people at riots. When? That's just not true. Those numbers are fake. They just made them up. Right. And if someone did die at a protest, that doesn't mean Black Lives Matter killed them. Like, you know, again, right? So these, there's these bizarre conspiracy theories that are just really prevalent in right-wing media, right? And these people have been amped since at least May. These people have been amped, right? And I'd say they've been amped for years. But over the last couple of months, Donald Trump has been saying January 6th is the big day. And they prepped. They knew it was the big day. To them, the big day meant this is the day we've breached the fucking Capitol. That's what they thought. So I want you to understand that we, like, whether or not we treat this as a civil war is irrelevant because they are. They are fully brainwashed into thinking that Black Lives Matter is killing patriots all across the world, or the country, I should say. Maybe the world. I don't know. These people are crazy. Um, and as such... That is a kind of justification for their actions. They think Joe Biden is like a communist who's going to, I don't know, destroy America. And you know, like, I don't know, it's just weird. Again, these, these things that they believe are really bizarre. And you really need to understand where these people are coming from. The Republican Party has embraced and has enabled fascism at least for the last four years, if you want to be charitable. But I would say ever since they stole the election in 2000, I think that that was kind of the very much so the downward spiral. And then you have 9-11, which caused such a disaster when it comes to legislation um, and just changed this country forever. Right. And but you can also go back to Ronald Reagan. Right. Who when Ronald Reagan was elected. Right. He ran as a segregationist. He uh, was mocking the idea of civil rights legislation. And around the 80s and 90s is when white supremacists started trying to get hired at police agencies. Again, in the early 2000s, the FBI released a memo saying that law enforcement has been infiltrated by white supremacists. They've known about this for 15 years, at least. They've known? Probably longer. 25, I would, I would reckon. So that's why they breached the Capitol. The cops are fascists. The Republicans are fascists. The protesters are just cover for the fascists. Why do you think people went in there with precision and zip ties and guns and Molotovs and pipe bombs? Because they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing and they're going to keep doing it and they're going to keep doing it. And so I want you to know this because this is some very scary stuff. Like, I don't know. Anyway. That's you know, not good. Let me just, like let me like to put it lightly. To put it lightly. Um, no good. No good. It's not good.